What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another crazy day here in the world of crypto. So we had a lovely little market yesterday and today we lost all of those gains. So we are going to be discussing exactly why that's happening, why my hair looks completely ridiculous and the reason overall why this is happening is two big pieces of news that made four but I actually meant two big pieces of news that have led to this sudden collapse again but do remember that we are just trading exactly where we are around 24 hours ago so it's not all bad but of course we're going to go over exactly what you need to know to be fully up to date with that said if you don't know me already my name's Connor and I am not a financial advisor I'm just a guy sitting in a room here in Greece trying to get us through this crypto winter together and in my opinion we will make it through this and everything will be bigger and better the next time round, And that's what we need to plan for. And that's exactly what these videos are about. If you do like that sort of thing and you appreciate me bringing you videos each and every day, consider smashing the like button, hitting the subscribe button. And also, if you fancy it, coming over and joining me over on Twitter here, I am doing daily giveaways to help people out there buy the dip. All you have to do is follow me and then follow these few different rules here. And if you do want to support the channel and you want to sign up to different uh, cryptocurrency exchanges. All of my favorite ones are down there in the description. You can use these for trading crypto. You can hold fear on a bunch of these exchanges, which helps you, uh, you know, negate the risks against holding your stable coins, which is something that we lost significantly on recently. So if you fancy it, there's links down there and you can make the best of the market situation. And of course, you'll be supporting the channel in doing that. Now, moving on to the crypto bubbles, we got red, red across the board. Everything is red, even Luna, beloved Luna, is down. Obviously, we expected this to happen because it was uh, it was running on pure hype and speculation. When the market is going down in a downtrend, bear market, whatever you want to call it, coins and super speculative uh, options like Luna are not going to do very well in this current market condition. Now, that's not to say that they won't pump again in the future and there are gains to be made. But right now, I'm sitting on the sidelines watching all of these coins very closely. Luna, ApeCoin, GMT, all of these coins that we've had in our uh, eyes for a long time now are things to be watching right now. For me, it's too much of a risk to get involved in them right now. Things like Bitcoin are what I'm dollar cost averaging in these markets because I believe that that will most likely still be around in five to 10 years. And that's where most of the gains will lie uh, for the long term. Of course, we can make gains short term, but this market isn't really for that as we speak. Now, the greed and fear index sitting in extreme fear at 15, but less than it was yesterday. But you know, we've been in this extreme fear history situation for months now, right? We haven't really left. And Bitcoin right now sitting at 29,500. We did actually print our first green candle in over nine weeks. This was the longest period ever. This was a, a, a history changing event. We did see a green candle right now. This new week is looking red, but we'll have to see what happens. It's very rare that we get all of these reds and never one relief rally, right? So I still think there'll be a relief rally. Um, we would need to get really above this 32,000 and 34,000. See any sort of monumental gains that say in the old coins. But for now, we have just been trading sideways. If we do move this over to the daily chart, we've just been sideways. You know, we've been sideways since, you know, around these periods here in January, basically sideways since then. You can count this as gains. But really, you know, for the last few months, we've just been trading sideways. And that's just part and parcel of this market. Now, with these continuation patterns that we're seeing right now, it's more likely that we do head lower. Of course, everyone is calling for a $10,000 Bitcoin, a $5,000 Bitcoin, a $15,000, whatever it is. And for me, because I don't know where the bottom is, I can't time it perfectly. For something like Bitcoin, where I have long-term conviction on, I'll just simply continue to dollar cost average no matter what happens. I'm also doing that with things like Ethereum on a smaller scale, and then also stocks and shares like Amazon, which I've told you about previously, like recently during this market, these huge companies that I believe will be around for a long time are perfect for dollar cost averaging and we did see a 20 percent gain in amazon just the other day so uh there's opportunity here in the market as we speak drop down 29 400 so bitcoin is seeing some red today remember we did have that wick all the way down to around 25 000. so technically we are making higher lows here but we just have to see how this carries out again remember it's more likely that we break lower from this sort of continuation pattern now we have the consumer price index coming out on January 10th, on June 10th, sorry, so in three days, we're gonna get some good news, hopefully here, that inflation has 
reached its peak and that will be good for the market but we have to wait to see really what's happening now the big news that's come out that's uh hitting the market is we have a crypto bill coming out today basically what this is going out to do is uh put in some more regulation to put in some more groundwork for where crypto sits as a whole but we have heard good things that basically the us senate bitcoin bill to fully integrate digital assets into the financial system which in short I don't think is a bad thing. Like Plan B also says, legal clarity is always positive. Uncertainty is always negative. Right now, we are super uncertain as to where the market's going, what's happening, what regulators are feeling, what the SEC is feeling. Everything is so uncertain, but regulation is a good thing in the long run. If you want it to be around for a long time, fit into the financial system that we have currently, we're gonna have to have some regulation. Now, I know obviously people want to make a new financial system. In my opinion, that is less likely than integrating something like Bitcoin into the current financial system financial system and regulation will help that and will also increase the inflows of institutional investors which I think is good for the long term and right now when we're in this bear market when everyone is bored most short-term speculators have left the market we have so much opportunity to find things that we believe in right if that's just simply Bitcoin that has proved time in time out according to history as perfect opportunities for buying especially when we're in this extreme fearful markets right especially right now according to history it's always been good. Now, the other piece of news that's got people rattled is finance being investigated by the SEC for potentially money laundering. Now, we don't know if this is true. We don't know what Binance will say about this, um, but this is what's got the market rattled as well. The SEC prying into and investigating Binance. And we'll have to wait to see what happens with this, but that is what I believe has sent the market down the bill and this new Binance lawsuit. And of course, the overall market is still very scared as to what's gonna happen next. We also had Ethiopia come out and warn that trading crypto is completely illegal, but I don't really think that had too much to do with it but just another FUD piece that I've seen in the market. Now, with that said, I do want to keep these videos short while I'm away. I just want to bring you the updates as to what's happening on a surface level. Of course, you can go in and do more research for yourselves and find out much more information, but I just want to give you a brief understanding of what's going on, and I hope you appreciate that sort of video, so do smash the like if you do. Now, another interesting piece of news that can potentially be seen as good as monthly NFT sales have dropped over 65% lower. So this is the thing that we have to see. Do you believe in non-fungible tokens? Do you think they're gonna be around for a long time? Is this right now an opportunity for you to buy something that you saw huge potential in when the market was up? If the answer is yes, this is the opportunity. If the answer is no, of course, don't buy NFTs. Right now I'm sitting on the sidelines. There are, of course, a few blue chip NFT projects that I would love to get involved in. I'm sure you know what they are, but if they drop 50% from where we are now, that's great, right? I can get these uh, blue chip NFTs at a much lower price that I think will be around for a long time. So this is good news for me. In any market situation, we have our opportunity. And on top of that, lastly, amid crypto bear market, institutional investors scoop up Bitcoin. This is according to coin shares, but Bitcoin investment products are a cumulative inflow totaling 126 million in the week ending Saturday. According to the latest fund flows report by coin shares, year to date, Bitcoin investment funds have quietly added 506 million in net inflows. Investors appear to be allocating Bitcoin at the expense of Ether and other altcoins. Ether funds saw 30, 32 million outflows, marking, marking the ninth consecutive week of declines. Outflows from, from Ether investment products have totaled 357 million this year. So interesting stuff there to pay attention to. We see institutional investors actually uh, piling in to Bitcoin right now when the market is down. So of course you can take that as you will. Is this bullish in your mind? I think this is bullish. I'm gonna continue to do what the biggest players in the game are doing and that's simply dollar cost averaging. Yes, there is an opportunity for Bitcoin to drop to 5,000, 10,000, whatever it is. But as a person who cannot tell the future, I have no idea where the bottom will be. So for me, all I wanna do is bring down the cost basis of my crypto as low as possible. Let's say, for example, that's Bitcoin and you bought it at $65,000. Just dollar cost averaging right now is continually bringing down your cost basis. That's how I see it. And I wanna bring that cost basis as low as possible for these positions that I intend to hold for the long term. Now, hopefully that provides you a little insight into what's happening in the market and what's happening in this old noggin. If you did appreciate the video, smash the like button. If you do wanna sign up to any, any exchanges, the links are down there in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.